Do Japanese women date black men? Hi, my name is Mr. Shrub King. I'm back at you with another video. And I got a question from my nephew a couple days ago. And he wanted to know if Japanese women date black men. I mean, heck. What Japanese women, what do most Japanese women think about black men? How do they feel about them? Well, now, it's a good question. And <clears throat> I can only speak from my experience. There's no absolutes. Um, one other thing you have to realize Is that there are different types of Japanese women. All Japanese women are the same. So, and the image, the images, and what they hear on television affects how they perceive black men to be. Even in Japan. Because if you turn on the television. Worldwide now. You see black men violent. Going to jail. Angry. So this is a, there's a negative stereotype. About black males. Even before you meet a Japanese woman. And then her parents maybe have probably told her a thing or two as well. Um, you just never know. But and, that is a, and, and there's also another thing you have to be aware of. In Japan, they don't they don't see a lot of black people. Period. So if she hasn't been exposed to a black male. Or black people. You know, sometimes when a lot of people with what they don't know can be fearful. I mean, people fear, some people fear the unknown. So you gotta. put that into uh, perspective as well plus like I said there's different kinds of Japanese women and I'm not gonna really go on all of that because that's gonna take too long for this video but for the most part <coughs> it really depends on how Japanese women perceive you to be in the moment and it depends on why you're over there in Japan for the, you know that's been my experience like if you're in the military yeah they, they love the military guys they like hanging with the military guys having a good time you know and all that good stuff but if you're just that average black male in Japan, you'll get some play. You'll get you attract pretty good women. But you know, there's a lot of Japanese women. They're fascinated by black males. They really are because of um, the television and. Because of their experience, if they had a good experience with black males, they they probably will be as they get older and have more experience, they'll probably be fascinated by black males. But in the beginning, when they first meet you, they might not be able to. Um, they might not know what to expect. So maybe, so maybe they might be a little nervous, a little bashful, or whatever. 
assuming that they never had any experience being around black people. That happens. But what I would say is stay away from the women that hang that that regularly hang around the military bases. Don't put too much stock or value into those women because they've been around. You know, they've been around before you came around. Those women around the military base. Try and get out and get away from the military base and the, the surrounding areas and go to places like Tokyo or, or even outside of Tokyo. Places like like Chiba or Kyoto or um, Yokohama is okay. That's far enough. Um, Okinawa is is okay. You know, there's a marine base there, whatnot. So, you know, Okinawa is very small. So, it's not too much space to get away from the base. So, what I would say is you got to be careful when it comes to women that's been around the base because they tend to get around and they go, from, they, you know, they change guys fast and. You know, they're looking for, I don't know, maybe they're looking for, to get married or something like that. I'm not sure, but, you know, they tend to get around. And they flock from guys to guys, you know, over the years or however long they've been hanging around the base. But for the most part, Japanese women tend to be fascinated. They love, they show black males a lot of love. But... You gotta be careful because there's different types of Japanese women. You know, every Japanese woman is not created equal. That's what I would say. There's some, you know, just depends on how they were raised and what they're into and what type of lifestyle they live. That's what I would say. But one thing I would say is. To really get to know a Japanese woman well, she has to really like you and be into you. Otherwise, she won't really um, open up to you and let you get close to her. At best, you would be just someone to have a good time or just something to do. Which is, it's not a bad thing in some cases. But, uh, besides that, if you're in the military, if you're in the Navy, especially if you're in the Navy, because I used to be in the Navy. But if you're, if you're in the Navy, and you're living in Japan, you might have the time of your life. And you learn a lot. And you also see a lot, and you be able to pick up on, on a lot of stuff when it comes to women. And when you come back to America, um, you have to slow down a bit because I think when I came back to America after two years. Just visiting. I had to slow down. I had to kind of slow my game down because I was like like a hundred miles and running, and every and, and and it seemed to me like everyone else was driving like fifty. So, but it, the thing, experience, traveling is. The, one of the best experiences you could have in your life and it's priceless you can't put no amount of money on it and what you learn when you're out traveling and having these different experiences with women and just people in general it expands your mind and um, 
it makes you um, see that there's a lot more possibilities and and things you could get into besides just putting all your eggs in one basket in the United States of America. So that's what I think about Japanese women dating black men. So if you like what you heard in this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. That's ChooseYourRelationships.com. And I wrote about this in details in my book called A Chicken's Guide to Having Women Bake for You, Sex, Lust, and Lies. A Chicken's Guide to Having Women Bake for You, Sex, Lust, and Lies. And you can get that at my website or at Amazon.com. And I'll put the links into at the bottom of the video. So until next time, my name is Mr. Sharp Game. Peace and love.